dear prep two it's the rest of the story of jane Eyre. this is the second phase as we said before the first phase for jane's uh, life was with her aunt mrs reed and her three cousins now this is the second phase at low wood school the doctor asked mrs reed to let jane go to low wood school in order to leave them so she went to low wood school low wood school was uh, like a charity school uh, for girls only there are too many girls in this school it was not clean uncomfortable it was so cold inside jane didn't feel happy inside so this is the second phase as i told you at last it was time for breakfast i was now very hungry we went into the dining room with the teachers there was a terrible smell of burning food we were all hungry but when we tasted the food we could not eat it it tasted terrible feeling very hungry we all left the dining room uh, this school they didn't look after the girls they gave them a uh, small amount of food well, as you have noticed even the food smell so terrible as most of the time uh, it is burnt at nine o'clock lessons began again i looked around at the other girls they looked very strange in their ugly brown dresses i did not like the teachers they seemed to be unkind and unfriendly jane was looking at the girls in order to see which girl can be her friend so up till now she didn't find any friend for her even the teachers were so evil then at 12 o'clock the head teacher miss temple came in she was very pretty and her face was kind from her name miss temple this is a symbol that she is a kind lady because when we enter a temple or a mosque we feel comfortable from her name this refers that she is a different and kind lady i want to speak to all the girls she said i know that you could not eat your breakfast this morning she told us so now you will have some bread and cheese and a cup of coffee the other teachers looked surprised i pay for this meal miss temple said the girls were very pleased miss temple from her name this shows that she is so kind and this is an example for her kindness that when she knew that the girls were going to eat the burning food she asked for another food on her uh, she is going to pay for th for this food after this meal we went out into the garden the girls brown dresses were too thin for the cold winter weather most of the girls looked cold and unhappy and some of them looked very ill i walked around and looked at the girls and at the school and at the garden but i did not speak to anyone and nobody spoke to me as i told you jane was looking for someone who can be her friend one of the girls was reading a book is your book interesting i asked her i like it she answered does this school belong to miss temple i asked no it doesn't she answered it belongs to mr rocklehurst he buys all our food and all our clothes here jane found a girl like her jane from her living with her aunt and three cousins the only thing that she was interested in was reading books and looking at the pictures so when she found this little girl at low wood school holding a book and reading she started to talk with her 
Mr. Brocklehurst, he was the responsible for Lowood School. The girl's name was Helen Burns. We have a Helen Burns. This is the one Jane was going to talk with her and feel comfortable and choose her as a friend. She was older than I was. I liked her immediately. She became my friend. Helen told me that many of the girls were ill because they were always cold and hungry. As I told you before, Lowood School was not a comfortable school and the teachers were unkind. Also, Mr. Brocklehurst, the one who was in charge of the school, didn't uh, let or buy for the girls uh, enough clothes. That's why most of them were ill in the winter. Mr. Brocklehurst was not a kind man. The clothes he bought for the girls were not warm enough for the winter, and there was never enough food to eat.